at 634 this morning, a community demanding change to help keep cyclists safe after a couple loses their lives after over the weekend. And as 7's Jessica Holly tells us, local leaders could soon be taking action. I am directing our department immediately to take urgent measures. The Miami-Dade County Mayor calling for immediate action when it comes to making cycling safer on the Rickenbacker Causeway. I have in my authority up to $250,000 that we will be using for short-term safety measures. The move comes after two more lives are lost. Sunday evening, Yaudis Vera and Ogniana Reyes were killed when an SUV slammed into them as they were riding in the designated bike lane. Let's rent barricades, let's cut through the red tape, let's get some paint out there, and let's fix it. We Advocates it. for it's cycling easier. safety attending Tuesday's Miami-Dade County Commission meeting asking for more protection. It's unfortunate that it takes the death of our two fellow residents before action can really be sparked again. We need to have the actual infrastructure that protects our cyclists rather than just paints on the road. County commissioners looked at a plan to overhaul the Rickenbacker a while back. Members of the cycling community urged them to move forward. That didn't happen. Here we are less than six months later, and we have two more deaths on our hands on this causeway that needs to be made safer. County commissioners agree they need to find a long-term solution, but that will take time and lots of money. In the meantime, the mayor says expect to see short-term safety solutions in place soon. We're in this together. We all know that this has to be addressed. So very tragic that yet another senseless, needless death, death brings us to this conversation. Plans for a long-term solution will be discussed in June during the County Commission's Transportation Committee meeting. Reporting in Miami, Jessica Hawley, Today in Florida.